Uh, <laughs> All right, thanks, LK. <laughs> Uh, hey everybody, this is Bionic Commando Rearmed 2. Uh, is PJ? And uh, these two are on the couch. Is Kludge. Murphy Gator. Um, <laughs> so before I begin, uh, I was originally scheduled to run Battletoads and Double Dragon with Mecha Richter, but uh, Mecha couldn't make it, unfortunately. Um, and then this got added back in, so that's pretty sweet. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and dedicate this run to Mecha, because he couldn't be here, and uh, that was originally going to be my run. Um, and the other good thing here is that if the game crashes, we have someone to blame. <laughs> All right. Um, I, think, I think we're going to be good to go here. So I'll give a countdown. Uh, three, two, one, go. All right, so I'm, I'm super excited that this category made it in, because any percent's really sweet in this game. Um, this gets off to a pretty, uh, a pretty hectic start. There are a lot of, um, or rather, there aren't a lot of glitches and stuff that we'll see, a lot of skips and stuff like that. Um, but two of the major ones are in the first stage. So we're going to be collecting a weapon that we should be getting in stage 16. <laughs> uh, and not only are we going to get it 15 stages early, but we're going to get level two of that weapon here. Uh, so we're going to be getting it early and much more powerful than uh, you would normally have. Um, so in any percent, we're not going to be collecting a whole lot. Um, there should have been a grenade there, but uh, I, I forgot I just did a practice run through. So I already have the grenade. We'll just pretend I collected it there. Bingo. Nice. Nicely done. First try. Easy every time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was the uh, grab power-ups through walls glitch. Uh, we only use it twice, and both of them are in this stage. Um, Essentially, the collision detection only checks uh, when Spencer is facing the same direction he was when he started the grapple. All right, so. There we go. Here we yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to hype mode. Uh, Spencer's just happy to be here. He's also really happy about the million that you guys are going to hit during this run. No. <laughs> so let, don't you dare. Let's go ahead and make that happen, all right? <sighs> so. <laughs> so what's happening here is uh, there's an attack called Death From Above um, that's new since uh, Bionic Commando 2K9, which we saw earlier today. Um, or he's, didn't he's, if you were smart. He's but. polite, though. He stops screaming when he has to talk to this dude. Yeah. So Death From Above is uh, like a ground pound attack. Um, that, gets, that guy fired while he was <laughs> dying. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I uh, hadn't seen that. That's cute. So basically what I'm doing here is um, I'm starting a death from above and then immediately canceling it by landing. And uh, the game just like, it just never stops the sound effect. Nice. This game does some amazing things. <laughs> it really does. Um, a couple years ago I went to PJ's place and we, we were considering seeing if co-op was a viable run of this game. Oh, that was, uh, a, that was a fun experiment. Yeah, um, spoilers, it's not. But the things that occurred during the day, a long attempt to see if co-op was viable, are um, their things. Yeah, us standing literally on the same pixel and I get launched to the sky <laughs> and you're fine. Well, that was really cute. <laughs> Well, the first time I got you to play this game, you went through the floor on the first object, so that's pretty yeah. cute. Yeah, that was a shame. <laughs> All right, so there's a really tough uh, grapple here at the very beginning. Uh, fortunately, if you scream, it makes it easier. <laughs> nope, it didn't make it easier. <laughs> <laughs> so that, uh, it's a really tight thing. I'm not going to try it again. Uh, we'll take the, uh, the intended way down here. Um, yeah, it's a really tight jump. And uh, it, it has a pretty tight visual cue. So when you're playing on an unfamiliar setup, it's sometimes hard to, uh, to see. So um, this stage is, is really neat because there are a bunch of these rooms that you can go in. And they're, like, they're labeled boot camp there. Um, it actually hit the right thing. Nice. Sometimes it hits the blue barrel instead. Um, so this is kind of like your tutorial stage. Like you can go in there and the game teaches you about levers and about pulling yourself on barrels and stuff like that. Um, what is exploding? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, are you even allowed to ask that question anymore? How is that not white noise for you these days? I think the screaming is just resetting what? his attention. <laughs> <laughs> He's already filtering that out, so. The scream is actually just Spencer mimicking everyone when they found out there's a jump button in this game and decided oh, yeah. to complain about it. Yeah, so this, uh, this game and uh, 2K9 both have jumps. Um, I really like it. A lot of people are really mad because like the, the traditional thing with Binding Commando is that you have to navigate entirely by grapple. Like it's a precision platformer that doesn't have a jump button. Um, so they added a jump here and it's like the tiniest jump. It's one tile high. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really let you do much. Like you still have to swing everywhere. Um, it just kind of makes things a little bit more fluid. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's, it's nice just because like even here you can see you'll like jump off a platform instead of falling off of it and going straight down or something. Yeah. So it lets you just control movement over edges and stuff pretty well. Yep. Yeah. So in this stage, uh, like in this game really, there aren't major, major sequence breaks. Like the grabbing the, the power-ups early is certainly a sequence break, but uh, for most of the stages, like most of the speed tech just comes from um, cutting out as many grapples as you can. So like in this section, uh, you're intended to go to the far side and like hit the switch that will lower a, a gate and then you can climb up the other way. Um, but if your positioning is good, excuse me, if your positioning <laughs> is good, uh, you can just you can just skip it. Um, and this game's pretty aggressive about like bonking. So if you swing into an enemy, uh, the game will just like you get bonks, a grapple line breaks, and uh, that's that. So if I have to go through an enemy, I'll try and wait for like a cutscene and extend the cutscene as long as I can. So I go through them. All right. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Nothing to see here. No, literally. All right. Oh, I think we're good. I don't think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we're not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying it again. <laughs> so this, <laughs> this, this is a pretty big stage. Uh, so the death plane is very far below the stage. Um, normally, if you like, if you fall off something in this stage, you'll just drown. Because uh, in this game, if Spencer touches water at all, he's just immediately killed. Yeah, it is extremely aggressive yeah. water. Yeah. Usually, he'll ragdoll in some pretty cute ways too. But all right, now we're good. There we go. Nice. Now that's that's the. All fun right. One. Yeah, that's that's what we're looking for. Yeah. So at the end of the stage, there's like a mine shaft, and uh, you get to the end, and you ride the little elevator down, um, which means the loading zone is beneath the stage, so we can just go beneath the stage and hit the loading zone, and uh, the stage ends that way. And so we skip a boss fight, we skip a, a cutscene and some elevators and stuff. Yeah, basically what PJ's doing is he's crouching down. You can, you can crouch and, and extend the grapple arm directly out in front of him and objects that uh, are on the ground or, or a wall or whatnot. And uh, if it's a barrel or, or an interactable object, he can actually basically do a motion that allows him to fall right under the, uh, the uh, current floor area. And once he's down in there, he's basically in an out-of-bounds kind of area where he can freeform his way back out through that stage. Yeah, that has a really a complex like out-of-bounds terrain. Uh, it's, it's really tough to navigate because you have to do it entirely blind, too. Like, there are mm -hmm. huge trees in the foreground. Um, but it all worked out. Oh god, why is that equipped? <laughs> Didn't I just use the shotgun on that dude? You know why it's equipped. It's because you're you. Mecca. <laughs> uh, so one of the fun things about this run is uh, that ammo management and weapon, weapon management. Um, we collect every weapon in the game. Not every, every upgrade, but every weapon. There are six of them. Uh, and each one is, each weapon is good. Like every single weapon in this game has a use. Mm -hmm. Nice. Especially uh, the napalm launcher. Especially the napalm <laughs> launcher, yeah. That's the most important weapon. Yeah, so a lot of this game is like knowing what weapons are good for what uses and managing your ammo so that you don't like just use the shotgun for the entire stage and then have nothing for the next threat. Um, so it's really neat from that perspective. Also, if you skip another elevator again, I'm going to be real upset. I didn't skip an elevator. That one you can't do because the ground's too far below. Really? Yep. Huh. Yeah, so Death From Above requires uh, a certain height huh. to activate. Um, but elevators aren't treated as normal floors. So, like, 
in this stage. The ground is still down there, but the game doesn't see me as being on a platform. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Spencer, you make a valid <laughs> argument. Spencer, I concede. Spencer, stop. Oh, good. Oh, right. this part. Time okay. for the stealth engine. <laughs> 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 I like this gun because you can, like, shoot your own helicopter. All right, these guys are never going to know what hit them. I wonder if they think it's the guy screaming really no, loud in no, the helicopter. No. Uh -uh. Couldn't be. My favorite enemy is coming up. Oh, yeah, this guy's a hero. Yeah. Oh, maybe he's on the next wall. Yeah, the, this is like, so it's a, a two and a half D game, I guess. Well, I guess the game's 2D, but it's a 3D engine, something like that. That's why that guy just fell off the front of the universe. Yeah, <laughs> and there are like objects in the background that I can shoot. Um, it's really, it's really yeah, weird. This is. guy here, yeah. this guy is stationed to face an explosion barrel against the wall <laughs> on a cliffside. And like, <laughs> he's just fighting the good fight. <laughs> he's my favorite. He's Hold it right there, barrel. Freeze. You can shoot these things too. They just fall down. All right, anyways, we have uh, a, a good time here for some donations, if you'd like. LFA. All right. So uh, we have a $10 <laughs> donation from Silver9, DJ. Running VCR2 in hype mode. Yeah! <laughs> wow. And, and I had to read that because there are so many A's that it actually kind of broke the layout of <laughs> 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 And I could not actually read the rest of the donations unless I got this one out of the way. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah, some of these guys, when you kill them and they like get stuck lying like this, they just constantly accelerate, and then what dimension they go flying in is random. See, look at his leg. He's ready. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes they like go shooting out straight at the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a magical world. <laughs> I like that you can hear it, like the scream fading away. Like he's, running, <laughs> he's running down the hallway just screaming. <laughs> You've discovered a lot of dumb things in your runs, but this might honestly be my favorite. The of elevator all time. is way too good. <laughs> the elevator? <laughs> all right. So there, yeah, there are a bunch of different ways to set up hype mode, and all of them were found accidentally. And then this one I found in the practice room before my. Uh, my previous, my previous GDQ run of this. All right, so Scrambler Dish is probably my least favorite stage. Um, there are a bunch of these grapples that are like just barely possible, and you can do some really fancy stuff with this rocket launcher. Um, but the trajectory of the uh, the rockets is random, and depending on what trajectory you get, sometimes hitting the switches is impossible. Um, so I have to play it just really safe. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh. Oh, come on, Spencer. There we go. Out of Good. I'm glad we just didn't comment on shooting those switches through the wall earlier. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Right, so uh, the shotgun and the, um, the rocket launcher can... Oh, he's going to go flying. I'm ready for this. Whee! <laughs> uh, the rocket launcher and the Hegel Breaker uh, can poke through walls. Uh, so the, the shotgun, the Hegel Breaker, if you're just close enough to the wall, it just like pokes through and you can shoot. Uh, but the rocket launcher, you can't actually start aiming. You can't like start the shot unless you're far enough away from the wall. But you can just like start and get the aiming laser going and then just walk right next to the wall and fire it through that way. Uh, so we're going to be doing a lot of like shotgun and rocket launcher poking to hit switches early. All right, so. Here's our first boss, the Definitely Helicopter. <laughs> um, yeah, this boss really, like, it's cool in, in concept, uh, but it's just kind of it's kind of tedious. So you have to shoot these two jets on the side, or just one of them, whatever. You get them to overheat. And uh, this guy does four phases of shooting fire. So he does mid-left, and then sides, then mid-right, then sides. And after uh, the second time he does the sides shot, if the engines are overheated, they'll go level. And then we hit the big button on top, and we make a golf cart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
That didn't hit. Huh. Which is interesting. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. One golf cart, please. Yeah, golf yeah. cart dispenser is pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, so Zello, uh, he's, he's a new runner of this, and really the only other runner of this game <laughs> in the last four years. Um, oh, coincidentally, I think this is also Zello's birthday, unless I'm mistaken. So happy birthday, Zello. Um, he found that uh, instead of, yeah, we'll clap for that. <laughs> um, so instead of hitting the plunger at the top on that, uh, that button thing, mechanism, you can shoot it with a rocket launcher. And I thought you had to still shoot at the top, but you can apparently just shoot right in the middle. Sometimes. 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 See, that worked that time. It saves a bit of time, but also sometimes doesn't work, I guess. I like that it just destroys the animation of the golf cart being dispensed. It's just instant transmission golf cart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's there. All right, so we've got like 40 more seconds of this fight. If you want to squeeze in a few, LK. All right, we have a $100 donation from the debt collector. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally slipped through my alarm this morning, and I wasn't able to catch Murph's run. But don't worry, PJ. I'm here now. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> We have a $100 donation from Nasson. Greetings from the Trainwreck crew. I was going to donate for each successful hype mode, but I know I'll be too busy dying from laughter to keep track. So it's just $100 <laughs> instead. Good luck on the run, PJ. Thanks, Nasson. <laughs> he just stays there. <laughs> so, yeah, this game just, it doesn't care at all. Like, they abandoned all hope of making a serious game. They just decided to make a really fun game mm -hmm. that's amusing. Yeah. Uh, and they nailed it. So, yeah, I don't know why he's in a golf cart. I don't, I, I really don't know what any of this is. Uh, I mean, I can explain the story if you really want. No, just no. <laughs> I doubt you could. He stole the prototype helicopter for his golfing outing, and Spencer ruined it. The end. <laughs> All right, so this stage is pretty sweet. I like uh, I like the Altec runes a lot. Um, so they added these breakable walls that can only be broken by the rocket launcher, uh, because when you first come through this this stage, you're not supposed to have the rocket launcher. <laughs> uh, but surprise! <laughs> nice. So yeah, it allows us to skip uh, quite a lot here, which is rather nice. It's a pretty neat stage if you have to play it without it, but uh, I don't have to. Good cycle? No. If you wish. He chose the worst possible <laughs> hiding spot. <laughs> Crouching behind an explosive barrel. So I really like some of these guys, uh, <laughs> when they're startled by you and they see Spencer, they, they sometimes shoot the gun. But sometimes they forget to stand up from behind the barrel. <laughs> so <laughs> what happens with a lot of them is they're ducking behind the explosive barrel and then they get startled and they shoot it and kill themselves. <laughs> That might be the safer option, it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> There's this crazy dude just <laughs> screaming, <laughs> running towards me. All right, we're going to do some more shotgun pokes, some more screaming. Good. And away we go. So there's a really neat trick shot that we can do here. Nope. Uh, well, we broke the wall. That's good, at least. But we have to take the pseudo long way around. <laughs> Um, I don't think I can unstartle him. I think I'm going to have to kill him. <laughs> How do you unstartle something when you literally scream at it nonstop? <laughs> Stealth mode. <laughs> they'll never see it coming. Yeah. <laughs> no, they'll just hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen countless hours of this, and it's still amusing. Yeah, I, I never get tired of this. <laughs> It just like during the cutscenes too, he's like, hmm, I wonder what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Time to phone home, just scream into the telephone. Fun fact, if you do play this co-op, both players can initiate hype mode for depth of sound, question yes. mark. And yeah, when it's... hype mode is active, you can do another death from above and it stacks that sound effect with it too. Yes. <laughs> but you can't like continuously stack hype mode. You can only have one, one active at a time. So yeah, if you're playing co-op, you can have... Uh, Four instances of loud screaming Spencer at once. You may also learn well. how to do door storage. Oh my god. All right, we're going to do a rocket launcher poke here to break these. Nice. 
So I just I fired the rocket like super far inside the wall. Uh, and the blast radius uh, almost. The blast radius is big enough to, to break the blocks. All right. Yeah, the ability to actually get momentum from just a straight up grapple is a really nice mechanic oh, in this game. It's wonderful. Yeah. Because it allows them to build the levels in a completely different way. Absolutely. Like all the other Bionic Commando games, like you have to build them generally at you know, a 30 degree angle or something because your grapple can only go mm -hmm. 45 right. degrees. But in this one, they're able to make really steep stages. Yeah. Because uh, you can do like these really short swings and grapple vertically and then continue from there. Yeah, it's a really awkward change at first, but once you just accept it as it is, it's amazing. Yeah. All right, so this is the gorilla. A beautiful, He's very cycle-based boss. Very cycle-based. <laughs> um, yeah, Gorilla is almost the primary protagonist of this game. <laughs> he certainly like, gets the most screen time. Yeah, I think of so my my any percent record. I think is like a 54, 54, 45 or something. And I think like nine minutes of it features the gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's it's pretty pretty unnecessary. So all he does in this phase is he does the sweeping hands thing. You crouch under one pass and you jump over the other, and then he shoots the the chop. I'm a big fan of the chop. That's what sent you to the moon. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of these guys. The, the morning after guys? Yeah. So you do that, you pull zero off, and then you shoot him in the ear. And we're going to repeat that three times. So uh, now's a pretty good time to get some <laughs> of those sweet donations in. All right, because we have a $1,000 donation from the Yeti. Wow, nice. They say, hang on, the, the format did, oh, not actually, did not actually fix itself. So oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> they, the Eddie says, this any ah, percent run is truly breathtaking. As in, we are having to catch our breath from all the ah, <laughs> screaming and laughter. Special shout outs to our buff boys at Power Up Audio and to Mecha Richter. Agreed. Agreed yeah. to both of those. We have a $150 donation from, let's see here, Broad. <laughs> it says, PJ, please come home soon or send help. <laughs> I'm getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand here. Beatboard and Megaboard are conspiring to break the seal on Cart 5. Giza's trying oh. to recreate that scene from Doctor Strange again. And Board is trying to get Fat Board to eat Sleepy. And that's just the stuff they've been doing in the last hour. Please no eat Sleepy. <laughs> Oh, so if you mash down, you can like <laughs> shift into the z-axis, which is really fun. You go into the into the background if you face left. And you go into the foreground if you face right. Yeah. At one time, we were hypothesizing using that to like go around doors, but yeah, it never panned out. So. All right. So sometimes this game tricks you, and when the grapple connects, you have to push back to uh, to pull. But sometimes on this boss, it'll connect and then just disconnect, and you'll walk to the right and fall off the hand, and then you lose a minute. <laughs> so it's, it's spectacular. I'm a big fan. OK, so Bridge Ascent. This is a stage that I used to hate, but it's a really neat level. Um, the gimmick here is that there are a bunch of switches that you can pull that destroy bridges, and they let you proceed. Uh, but I found out like last year or so, that you can just go around. So, instead of going to the right and under, I need to grab the very side of this. I can go up here and climb up this way. So that skips a whole lot. <laughs> Good. All right, so this uh, electric ball thing, that's the Yoro Viper. Uh, that's what we got from killing uh, Gorilla. It's a super good weapon. It kills every single non-robot instantly, uh, even the guys with shields. So, like, managing the ammo for this weapon is really important. And when you use it on a, a robot, it stuns them. And uh, I'm going to do a rocket launcher poke there. Time for more Bionic Commando sing-along. <laughs> There are no lyrics, but I think you guys can figure it out. <laughs> and then we go up here. We skip a few more elevators. 
So like, the platforms are just spaced perfectly in this level for you to, to not use them. <laughs> you can just go around. It's a really cool level. Really good stage, by the way. Yeah, that was well done. We're closing in on the million. 980. I believe in you. The dream's real. <laughs> Spencer's, Spencer believes in you, too. <laughs> All right, so here's another stage with a whole lot of things. <laughs> Including that. <laughs> Just leisurely screaming elevator guys. Spencer's a trained professional. Please do not attempt to scream in the elevator on your way back to your room yeah, today. Yeah, please, please no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a rematch with uh, first boss here. Um, we don't actually have to fight him, but if we want to activate screaming mode again, uh, we have to. So we're going to kill him. Come on, Spencer. I believe in you. Yes. <laughs> All right. So there are going to be a few pretty tight swings here. Let's see if we can get these to work. Nice. Nice. All right. Beautiful. I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh, just missed. I have $25 from Mecha Richter. Hey, PJ, I'm hungry. How's Bradley doing? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I miss you guys, and I wish I could be there. But I'm there in spirit, messing up electronics and whatnot, probably. Yep. Keep up the great work, everyone. P.S. This is a message for Clage. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we love you, buddy. Yeah, much love, man. Yeah. It's so quiet. Do something. I know. Actually, you're PJ. Don't do anything. The crowd can help, maybe. I don't think we're going to be able to set up. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look what you've done. Thank you. <laughs> With practice, you all will be able to do as long as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, the two it minutes. It might take a while. You might pass out a few times, but it's eventually you'll get there. It's worth it. Just think, you can put that on your resume. <laughs> what, just the A, letter A? Just jump <laughs> yeah. on the attacking page. <laughs> I'm really good at the letter A. <laughs> All right, so this is another super annoying level normally, but uh, we're going to go this way through the poison gas, and then. Uh, up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It should be mentioned that poison gas is supposed to just kill you like instantly. Mm. But yeah. It just kind of doesn't. Yeah, you it, just move I don't through know. It, man. Right? Sometimes you don't die. These bionics aren't as weak to radiation. Not enough wife in the arm yet. That's it's there already. It just doesn't. But he know doesn't yet. know, so it doesn't count. He doesn't know until like the last ten seconds of two K nine. It yeah. still doesn't count. <laughs> All right, well. If you don't tell Spencer anything, he just screams. He's fine. It's true. <laughs> it's, it's Maybe true. he's just screaming because he feels so alone. <laughs> wow, this got deep. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. These whole games, he's just running around by himself. I'll be your friend, Spencer. Maybe if Spencer was here, he wouldn't have to. Spencer is a good man. <laughs> we miss Spencer. All right, so this entire boss fight is just a misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> like, this dude, we have no beef with this dude. <laughs> But he started yelling at us and calling us Randall because Randall was supposed to let him off his shift. <laughs> and then we just fight each other to the death. <laughs> like, that is actually what is happening yep. here. I mean, what actually happened is he screamed at us, and Spencer doesn't like it when other people scream. Yeah, so that's he true. has He's, to fix it. There's no elevator here for him to play the contest right. that way, so yeah. he just has to murder right. him. Established instead. dominance. <laughs> <laughs> that's no fair. Why do you get to scream without an elevator? <laughs> 
Yeah, this dude at the end. I'll let the dialogue show for a bit. All right, so all you have to do here, like he anchors himself and then fires the giant cannon. Uh, if we just break his feet, then <laughs> everything's fine. Wait for it. <laughs> Wee. See ya. Yep. Rando. <laughs> 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 that one's a hero. Yeah, it's a champion. Yeah, right there. Here. Uh, speaking of which, we have a one thousand five hundred dollar donation from Anonymous. Uh, yeah, thank you. And they say. Come on, before Bionic is done, let's get to one million. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the stage. No, oh, never mind. This is <laughs> <laughs> gotta wait for Spencer to finish. All right, so this is the stage uh, where you're supposed to get the rocket launcher. Why am I not up here? Another shotgun poke. Um, so yeah, the entire game up until now, we, we weren't supposed to have that. Uh, huh? <laughs> huh? That miss, huh? Yeah, the shotgun is a ridiculously good weapon. Especially mm -hmm. when you upgrade it, you can fire like two or three volleys of, <laughs> <laughs> of shots. Nice wall. Yeah, it's good a good effort. You, were, you thought you were safe over there? Explosive barrel guy was safer. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of save. Come on. Ah, nice. The, the security blanket is back. Yeah. <laughs> All is right. All is right. Can you go through flow? That was close. Wow, they didn't bonk you? No, I guess not. Well, that guy tried. Little did we know that ASMR existed all the way back during yes! PCR2. Oh, no. Extra noisy <laughs> mode. <laughs> God. <laughs> I can't hear ya! Don't fire the gun while you're talking! <laughs> uh, I love that he's like bending over to. <laughs> he's reaching over to check up on that dude, just screaming in his face. <laughs> All right, both of those hit. That's really good. <laughs> wow, somebody's going for yeah. it. <laughs> Did someone turn off the fire alarm? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have truly done something stupid. Today. Yeah. Yeah. No. All right. So Which this, means it's a we, day that ends in day. Yeah. <laughs> no, we we might have found some new members. <laughs> oh man, we actually made it through. Wow. Yeah. That's that was a nice. miracle. That was. All right. So they made the mistake of uh, this stage just being one big room, <laughs> and uh, the exit is near the bottom. There's an invisible barrel there. It's <laughs> yeah. actually Which is the only reason you could escape that room. <laughs> it's actually. <laughs> it's actually a gas barrel. Like you can go in that room and shoot nothing, and just gas comes out and kills you. Uh, but if, if it wasn't for the heroic barrel there, we wouldn't be able to get through. So that stage is super tough, because it has a lot of really crazy uh, switch shots that you have to do. Good stage, by the way. You yeah, machine gun going, too. Yes, from someone. Yeah. Is it Spencer a gremlin? <laughs> Oh, hey, Gorilla's back. Hey, he's back. And he's learned more moves. No. <laughs> which means that there's longer between each time we get to attack him. <laughs> yeah, so uh, he still has the same moves. Uh, he just does them more now. He's shinier now. So between, like, before it was just hand swipe followed by chop, and then hand swipe, chop, and then you can hit him. Now it's hand swipe, chop, and then we have this double chop. One, two, and then he does another hand swipe, chop. And then we don't even get to damage him at the start because he's electrified. So if we grab his ear, we get zapped. So we have to shoot his ear off first. Uh, 
So this fight is four cycles, and each cycle is longer than before. So, uh, yeah, LLK, you can uh, do what you got to do over there. All right, then. Uh, we have $50 from Sub Libra. Elevator is now my favorite word. I haven't seen, I haven't seen this game before, but it must be at least an, a, a triple A title. <laughs> or possibly more. Ah! <laughs> We have forty dollars from. Let's see if the thing fixes itself. It will not. Okay. We have forty dollars from Wither. Uh, it says I had to donate during PJ's run. Why? Because his previous run of Lagoon inspired me to get into speed running because I am apparently a masochist. Nice. <laughs> Thanks to PJ, I now share Spencer's constant existential scream in my attempts to play Lagoon. <laughs> Let's keep gaming for a good cause and shout outs to my fiance Anna who introduced me to GDQ. And by shout outs I'm assuming he means Spencer <laughs> 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 uh. We have seventy-five dollars from Gunslinger. Can I make it? No. That's a really good name. I took off work today so I could watch all the awesomeness, and specifically so I could donate during my favorite streamer PJ's run. The best stream I've ever watched was two years ago when PJ did seventy-five Bionic Commando in oh, yeah. runs and a hundred percent run in twenty-four hours. In the spirit, in that spirit, I'm do donating seventy-five, and if this comment is read during PJ's run, I'll donate another hundred dollars. PJ BC hype. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Somebody revved up the engine. Yep. <laughs> so this guy is a fun uh, pull my finger trick. So right Please here. Don't. Please don't. Please <laughs> don't. Uh, you can pull his ear off from his finger down here, and if you do, you're just soft locked. Because <laughs> like you pull it, but the game's like, hey, you pulled his ear. Wait, that's not that's not where ears are. And then it doesn't let you. Oh no. Okay. Okie right. doke. Yep. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yep. Good save. Good save. <laughs> hey, remember what I said before? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. All you right. would have deserved every bit of it, too. Yep. I didn't do anything wrong. You did a lot wrong. Yeah. <laughs> You've led us to this point. <laughs> Your shirt says PJ on it. You did everything wrong. That's true. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you can you can pull his knuckle there, and like Spencer actually goes through the pulling animation, and then nothing happens. <laughs> um, and then like when you get up to his ear, you can like pull, and like the little ear plug thing like pulls out a little bit, and then that's it, and you can't grab it anymore, and you can't shoot him, uh, and that never goes away. <laughs> so you have to exit the map and try again. Uh, and that was a fun thing I found out while I was just like fooling around and pressing grapple and stuff. I also fell through the floor here, just like <laughs> jumping and doing grapple. So I just have to like. I'm terrified. I just have to stand <laughs> perfectly still and not push buttons. It's asking a lot for you to do nothing and the halls yeah, are not I know. scream. It's that really, <laughs> yeah. It's really uh, had an impact on you then, huh? Yeah. All right, we did it. Um, so my reward for that is the suicide gun, uh, <laughs> which the game typoed as napalm gun. Yeah. Um, that gun has uh, one really good use. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. A for effort. <laughs> what are these other vowels you're using? I'm, I'm confused. Um, yes, the Napalm Launcher is really good on the uh, the next boss, the only non-cycle based boss, because it does a ton of damage to everything. <laughs> Especially Spencer. Especially Spencer. Yeah, it's particularly good in 100% because that has a lot of death warps, and uh, the Napalm Launcher is like immediate death warp. <laughs> it's... Um, and it also looks like, like the model looks like the Hegel Breaker, the shotgun. So I have to <laughs> be very mindful of my weapon swaps, very deliberate with those. And then sometimes I even check the uh, the ammo count to make sure I have the right. Oh. What hit you? Uh, what? Oh. That poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> he fell through the floor. Yeah. He just learned from watching you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't argue with that. Basically, Spencer has hijacked this helicopter because he really needs lozenges, and he's got to get there now. Hence the quietness. Yeah, I enjoy the four-minute-long boss fight followed by a two-and-a-half-long-minute <laughs> auto-scroller. <laughs> That's my favorite part. What's not to like? This doesn't even have favorite guy. All yeah, these guys walk around and spot you. Yeah. This is this is the resting voice time. you gotta you got to yeah. save it up for the finale. It's, yeah, it's true. 
All right, so we've got a little bit more time. If, uh, All right. if there's anything you'd have, like to read. Uh, we have $25 from Sucker Punch Monk. Uh, my introduction to PJ and the PLC was the infamous hype mode bid war. Wanted to donate to it this morning, but it was already met. I think Spencer is on to something. They can't hear you coming in and killing them all and destroying their base with all the screaming. <laughs> yep. Plus, I think I'd shoot the explosive barrel in front of me if I saw and heard that coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> we have $200 from Kecleon. I got home just in time to see PJ's run. Good luck, PJ, and hello to the whole PLC crew. This donation goes to whatever PJ wants. Thanks, Kecleon. Good shot. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the rest of this stage kind of sucks. <laughs> what? Oh. What? Oh. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. No. It doesn't work. <laughs> Oh no, my like, god. That actually doesn't no, work. That doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, man. You monster. This stage this stage doesn't suck anymore. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Mecca. <laughs> Alright, so they trapped me in this wooden box and I still have the napalm launcher and my bionic arm, but I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, <laughs> it's just a wooden box. It really is a wooden cage. Yeah, like no just joke. Nothing. <laughs> No. <laughs> Can lift entire full well, oil drum and then they barrels. Put you, well, and then the prison they put you in in the next stage isn't exactly yeah. much better. No, like here, you can have all your guns <laughs> and your bionic arm. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got four guards. Spencer just wanted to see if there's elevators here. That's the only reason he let himself get caught. All right, so we're in prison now. Um. <laughs> As you should be. <laughs> As I should be. Yeah. Uh, I, I had a feeling that was going to happen. So this game has wall jumps. Um, and you wall jump by pressing into the wall and then jumping. Um, for this swing, I have to be holding forward. Yeah, see? So I have to be holding forward, uh, but then release it before I hit the wall. Because if I, if I hit the wall, it stops my momentum. I stop moving upwards. And then I can't grab this. Really? <laughs> This is your penance for that hype mode. I know, uh, yeah, I deserve it. Yeah. No complaints. There, there we are. Yeah. All right. Uh, is that going to be a problem? I don't think I use rocket launcher for the rest of the stage. I think I should be OK. All right, so we're going to be getting uh, one more upgrade. We're going to go slightly out of our way. So the next boss I mentioned earlier is not cycle based, uh, but we don't quite have the firepower to deal with them. Um, so I grabbed the Napalm Launcher upgrade there just because it's like along the way and it's the most efficient way to get a huge amount of damage. So the uh, I agree with that question mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so the, the weapon upgrades do different things for every weapon. Uh, the Rocket Launcher upgrade um, fires more rockets. Um, you always have three shots with the rocket launcher. You can never uh, increase your ammo. Um, the Hegel Breaker gives you more ammo, I think, and you can fire more rapidly. Um, the Napalm Launcher gives you more ammo, and it does more damage and uh, covers more ground, which is <laughs> ridiculously dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh... Ah, the crickets are doing hype mode. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. They're, they're not trying. As, they're, they're trying. All right. And just like that, we're out of jail. Now we have to do the action hero exit. And burn down the forest. <laughs> and burn down the forest. <laughs> They'll never suspect a thing. <laughs> chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bionic Labs. There's a really slick thing you can do at the beginning, uh, but the last few times I did it, I got shot, so I'm going <laughs> to not do that. <laughs> Coward. I'm going to wait for uh, <laughs> this guy to shoot. Huh? Mm. Is that really big? 
It worked. All right, nice. cool. Nicely done. Not only was the button hit, but <sighs> we got screamy mode. All right, all right. Um, so yeah, that's a really, really big uh, rocket launcher poke. This is the right weapon. Uh, we'll do that. The guy's falling off the front of the stage. Oh, it stops there? That's what? interesting. Huh. That might be the only cutscene where Spencer won't scream through. I did not want to grab that. Oh, whatever. Just gonna have to remember for a menu later. So, fun thing about the force shield. If you use that in the gorilla fights, the game, <laughs> uh, the entire console hard locks. <laughs> you have to, like, the menus don't work. You have to unplug the console. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So for the first gorilla fight, like you can't get the force shields, but for the second one, you definitely can have it, and uh, just don't, just don't <laughs> use it. All right, this boss fight's uh, really tough, so we're gonna see what happens. That's a really good amount of damage. Yeah, very nice. Um, so I have to hit him with, I have to get full damage off all three Napalm Launcher shots. I have to hit him with all three rockets, and all three rockets have to actually connect, uh, which is sometimes not, sometimes you take it for granted. <laughs> um, I have to hit him with all but one Euro Viper shot, and then all of the Goliath Launcher shot shots. So I have to use like all of my ammo and everything has to hit him, uh, plus grenades. So we're we're super underpowered in uh, in any percent. Yeah, it's really pretty amazing how tanky they made it. All right, nice. nice. Very nice fight. <laughs> so that's about as good as you can get in any percent. Uh, the goal is to kill him before he finishes doing the swingy arm across the stage. Uh, so it should be like a 106 or 107. Anything around there is pretty much ideal. 105 even. Very nice. Really good. And our good friend Gorilla is hanging out in the back, you know. Yeah, of course he is. He's got to learn. He's got to learn what a good boss fight looks like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, so I need a swinging arm phase in addition to my <laughs> other ones. <laughs> All right, this stage is really cool. This is like your classic escape from the exploding stage. Um, yeah, when the doors work. Yeah, when the doors work. <laughs> so there are no enemies in this level. This is all just platforming and uh, the platforming is really neat so like one of the major things you can do in this game to save time is uh, like this turnaround in midair so I'm facing right facing left in midair and that allows me to start the next swing earlier because uh, if you don't turn around then when you press the other direction to swing Spencer has a slow turnaround animation like that so I try and get all of the turning out of the way in the air when it doesn't cost time This was a ridiculous nice. stage. Yeah, yeah, that was beautiful. Really, really good. That was amazing. And you didn't blow yourself up. Somehow. I didn't blow myself up. Good yeah. job. Have definitely seen you lose runs because you couldn't 50. resist throwing the napalm <laughs> at the end of the stage. Fifty seconds is amazing. Yeah, yeah that, that's was, a, that that's was like stomping. really close to the IL world record. Wow. Yeah, that was stomped. Yeah, so like I, I can't stop pushing buttons. Like I just have to push <laughs> buttons, and it's dangerous when you have a gun that instantly kills you when you push buttons. You just can't stop. You can't stop pushing buttons. You can't stop screaming. You can't stop being PJ. It's really a problem for it's, the rest yeah. of us. It's true. All right, so there's a bunch of switches, fine. <laughs> bunch of switches and stuff that I don't care about. There's that yeah, wall. I... We're just gonna not do that. I'm just gonna go over here instead. This is a really big and. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Really big and uh, complicated stage, but uh, we don't really need to do any of that. <laughs> it's something, it, they don't look like it when PJ is running the game. Every stage in this game is huge. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, they're meant to be like exploring stages more than mm -hmm. more than the uh, older games where it's meant to be more of a, here's the path. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, that worked out. <laughs> Good job. So I want this guy to not, not stray too far. 
I need to use him for a damage boost. Uh, he's straight too far. Oh, wait, there's a bullet. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't think I can do it. Nice. Wow. Uh, there's a cutscene there, but I don't need to watch it. That. <laughs> so we're going to go down and around the cutscene trigger. <laughs> yeah, so for some reason, if you get hit by a different thing than that, that washing machine, whatever that boss is, <laughs> <laughs> then you can just like jump through it. It doesn't have collision detection. But if he shoots you, then he still does. Hmm. I mean, it was I his mean, bullet. He knows you count it. He wants it back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This this stage is really annoying. Um, it has a lot of these flying uh, flying enemies. They just bonk you and make you fall. Uh, mm, all right. Very nice. I mean, bonking you is one of the more dangerous things that he can do. Yeah. So. Absolutely. So we're just going to hope that... Wow! No. All right. So we're down here now. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Slight detour. Let's see. Well, you get to see what water does. Yeah, the extra hard water. <laughs> <laughs> just just face <laughs> Spencer can fall any distance, but water. And now oh you know the goodness. secret to hype mode. It's Spencer realizing that he's made mostly of water. Oh my goodness. Oh, you found the hole. These guys are on point. Yeah, this is impressive. Get up there, dude. Uh, uh, <laughs> the zoning is incredible right yeah, now. They, uh, yeah, we've got to get rid of him. What is that guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> Go home. <laughs> he wants, oh my god. He wants to learn robot hype mode. Just teach him, BJ. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> Please don't shoot me. Dancing guy? Dancing yes. guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just dancing to music that only he can hear. <laughs> You, you mean the sound of hype mode? <laughs> <laughs> this game's uh, physics engine is incredible. I don't know how they did it. <laughs> I'm not sure they did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what we haven't seen in a while? It's a helicopter. Ah. Oh, good. Yeah, except this time you don't have your nice watchtower to just sit on. And yeah, so I have to actually dodge stuff this time. Uh, what actual or mechanics? Not. Or you just, can just stand in the fire, that's Just fine. stand in the fire. Look, we know you love literally just fire, but could you not <laughs> right now? Uh, so this this boss is pretty much the same, except they don't have the, the little cheaty platform on the side. Um, and then during the button phase, he shoots rockets as well. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. So now would be a good time for uh, for some donations. All right, we have ten dollars from Mecha Richter. He says, <laughs> "He says, you're welcome." <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. We have twenty-five dollars from Goku. Oh no! <laughs> you will never guess what this says. <laughs> <laughs> And this is to go even further beyond. <laughs> um, I will just uh, let everyone know that that one was even longer than the other all A one, and has broken this thing even further. I just scroll back and forth nonstop to read all of these comments now. Good. This was a mess. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> this was a complete mess. Let's see uh, what other... We're good role here. models. Yeah, <laughs> sure. So... We have $5 from Mint Kuro. It says, what kind of grades did Spencer get in school? Straight. <laughs> 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 
so at the end of this, he can he can go in the door before it appears. So Spencer just keeps walking into the background. Yep. He's got places to be, man. Start screaming so people don't have to hear me laugh. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? It's not gonna help. Oh God, this stage. <laughs> the stage where Spencer reached terminal velocity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This was a really fun stage when PJ and I were trying to play this co-op. Um, at one point, there's a jump, and uh, I, I didn't jump so much as I fell, and Spencer literally disintegrated in mid-air and just fell to his doom. Yeah, just both of them falling next to each other, and then one of them dies. Yeah. Just, just one of them. So, uh, uh, nothing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah <I'm, laughs> I'm pretty sure that was not nothing. <laughs> yeah, something happened there. No, it's, it's good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, this will this will work. I started to do the IL strat and then abandoned it and almost died. Um, yeah, so the... You basically respawn at the same time that that... Of course, that didn't reach. Um, at the same time that... Uh, that last switch is hit, so the, the cutscene like interrupts interrupts your spawn or something. I don't I don't, I don't know. Just something happens and I'm allowed to move during that cutscene. Can I grab? Yeah, grabbing that switch is kind of obnoxious because yeah. of just like the exact geometry there. Is it time for the extra aggressive crushers yet? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next next room. Okay. So crushers in this game, <laughs> oh. they are magic. Yeah. <laughs> if you're swinging at all, like if you're connected to a grapple at all, and you touch a crusher, <laughs> you are launched into the background. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really amazing. Like it doesn't matter if they're all the way extended down, if they're moving, if anything. Oh. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get off his lawn. <laughs> Normally you can make that, but uh, <laughs> not today. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and not do that that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna equip uh, right at the very end here. Oh, hey, this man. man. I'm gonna equip the round of the whiplash because it uh, it lets me hit those switches through the floor. The whiplash is super good for hitting switches, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's not really. It's not really worth switching until here. Um, if you're doing like individual level runs, you'd, you'd definitely be using Whiplash for most of them. But uh, not here. All right. Oh, man. Really good climb. Nice. Yeah. Very good. All right. This is a neat little puzzle room. Yeah. The, yeah. the Euro Viper, I think, is one of the more interesting design weapons in the whole game. Yeah, it's a great weapon. The weapons are really interesting. Mm -hmm. Like the Goliath Launcher, uh, you don't really get to see it miss much. Um, but the Goliath Launcher uh, fires and comes back. It's a boomerang thing. So it's really handy for hitting enemies that are like crouching behind uh, barrels and stuff. Because you can shoot it over them and then crouch and the boomerang will return to you at crouch height and hit them from behind. Uh, so you can do some really neat stuff with it. The weapons are just great in this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're... It's really fun. All right, so we have one stage left. Well, one boss fight left. And oh boy, is it a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Less than 10K to go. Come on, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> All right. Imagine oh, look at this the, thing. Imagine mm. the screams if you make us hit a million before we let this idiot off the stage. Yes. All right. So yes. unfortunately, uh, this cutscene interrupts hype mode, but the cutscene doesn't come back. So. How convenient that there's an elevator here. Yeah. Right. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright.
is this so is uh, McNamara. He's the guy that's in this game. He, <laughs> yeah, he, he totally was a relevant character before this point. Yeah. I think, was he, I don't even know, was he our helicopter pilot? Yeah, he was your we, pilot in this we game. We killed our old one. Yeah, I think, yeah. This fight's great because it forces you to use two mechanics that don't come up anywhere else in the entire game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was not happy my first time fighting this boss. <laughs> I was uh, I was very much not happy. Yeah, so he uh, shoots all these missiles and stuff and then drops this bomb, and you have to roll the bomb into the tower. And then you have to walk around this corner, which is something that <laughs> you never you never do otherwise. That's the point five and the two point five, sir. Yep, yep. <laughs> sure is. So sometimes like these missiles are, are circling randomly. Um, and sometimes they just like hit Spencer immediately. So they're supposed to just like circle around over on <laughs> over on that side and square up. But you get like really ambitious missiles that just like go straight <laughs> for you immediately, and they're weird because like they're circling in, in in three dimensions, but Spencer exists in two. So sometimes you can't even block them, and they'll just come from like <laughs> z-axis and hit you from uh, from that side. Perfect. All right, one more to go. I want Spencer in my bowling league. <laughs> What's your heaviest ball? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to run out of room for his name on the scoreboard, though. Not enough A's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you don't actually have to roll the ball. Uh, if you throw it at the right spot, it destroys the tower. But if you miss at the right spot, it kills you. <laughs> uh, and it only, saves, it only saves like a few seconds if you do it in every single cycle. So just no. <laughs> Just no. why? Why would you do that? Only <laughs> you could come up with the term "miss in the right spot." <laughs> All right, here we are. Get him, Spencer. See ya. <laughs> Damn rookies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that is time. <laughs> Thank you for the audience participation. Uh, sorry I missed estimate by a bit. We had some weird stuff happen. But... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was BCR2. I really love this game. It's, it's spectacular. It's available only for 360 and uh, Xbone through backwards compatibility. So if it looks good, I recommend you pick it up. You could always use more runners. Um, but yeah, up next we've got Goof Troop. It's a really great game. One of the best co-op runs. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's go to a million, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, PJ, for that test of the emergency broadcast system. <laughs> and while I try to get my voice back, let's play a brief ad from Twitch.
We have a $10 donation from DR. Whenever Spencer's face flies past while skipping dialogue during PJ's run, all I can hear is, ah! and I hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> We have a $2,000 donation from Scytheborg. They say, let's get to 1 million during the BCR2 run. Uh, we didn't quite get it, but you know what? I think we could probably get this during Goof Troop. Making, and uh, you know what? We could use a hype mode in Goof Troop, I think. The Yahoo! We have $10 from World Warrior. Here's 10 bucks. I'd like to buy a vowel. <laughs> we have $25 from Doe Wolf. If both PJ and Spencer believe in me, well, I could disappoint one of them, but not both. We have a $150 donation from Fat Pat. Come on, let's get to that one million so Spencer's voice can finally rest. I sympathize. We have an anonymous $350 donation. Did not leave a comment, but we appreciate your generosity all the same. We have a $40 donation from Renessa. A Mr. S. Vegeta mentioned that the bonus incentives for KH1, that is the level one Sephiroth fight and the Oathkeeper glitch, are woefully behind on getting met. And we only have a little time left to raise that money. So since today is payday, and there's a lot of doctoring that needs to get done across multiple borders these days, doing what I can to help out. And that is true. We need a lot of money to get these Kingdom Hearts incentives met. Uh, the Oathkeeper glitch needs 20,000, uh, we only have $2,472.27, and for the level one Sephiroth fight, that is, not Sephiroth is level one, Sora is level one, <laughs> fighting Sephiroth, we need $50,000 for that, and we are sitting at $14,484.78, and my host choice is going to the Kingdom Hearts incentives, uh, I hope the rest of you will join me, and uh, let's work together and get those met. All right, and with that, let's throw it over to an interview with Jay Hobbs and Mistmaster. And we're live. Hey, everybody, welcome back. My name is Jay Hobbs. I am joined by the Mistmaster One. Hello. Mist, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, man. How about you? You nervous? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing, though. So. so you actually, this isn't your first GDQ. No, this is actually but. my second GDQ. The first time I was just an attendee for um, the Kingdom Hearts One run. That was actually there in AGDQ 2016. Uh, just as a commentator, and I'm actually the runner of uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 this year. So how's it feel going from the attendee experience? It's, it's, it's also two years ago to now. Yeah, it's like, it's been so long as well, just like, you know, casually being there in, you know, just behind the runner and everything, to being like, actually like being right up there. I'm just like, ooh, that is such a big jump, man. Exciting, right? I'm so excited. <laughs> well, I want to give you a little chance to kind of explain level one for anyone out there, because Kingdom Hearts, I feel like a lot of people are familiar with at this point. We've seen it at several GDQs and stuff, mm -hmm. but level one has actually not really been done at GDQ, I don't no, think. No, it is so. not. Uh, why don't you go ahead and so, give us a little pick? Pretty much, back on PS3, uh, Proud Mode was basically like the go-to category for most people because it was a nice balanced category. But uh, the game got reported to PlayStation 4 about roughly um, one year ago. And ever since then, the loads are so fast now, it actually screws up the uh, 
PlayStation, like it's the, it screws up the regular proud route at this point now. So level one is pretty much the go-to because loads don't affect that whatsoever. And you can pretty much access uh, level one by just playing on the highest difficulty, which is proud, not critical. For uh, King A lot of people get that misconception that it's critical mode for all the games, but there was no critical mode in Kingdom Hearts 1. So you play on proud mode, you get an ability called EXP0 right off the gate, and you just put that on and you're good to go for the rest of it. And I think one of the biggest things about this run that's really interesting is one of the abilities you put on at the very beginning of the game in Kingdom Hearts and you leave on forever, exactly. that everybody does, is scan. Mm -hmm. So that you can see your boss health, your enemy health, like, stuff like that. Like, and level in this one. game, in this game, you actually get scanned through leveling up. Right. Like in a lot of other games, it's just like a story ability or something you get from being like a certain boss or whatever. And on but level one, you're not going to have scan. You're, are you? you're not going to have that the entire the entire game. Yeah. So that is drastically different because mm -hmm. you need to not only be you know executing really hard strats in which you're often what like two shots away from dying. Exactly. But also you need to. Be careful about remembering. Yeah, you just kind of have to help. figure out like what's going on in the fight, like how far you are into it. What attacks is this guy doing? Because they have like tells what like at this certain amount of HP and all that. Mm -hmm. So, so a big internal clock you have to have memorized pretty yeah, much going into every fight. Little game exactly. in the run. That's pretty cool. All right, well, I do want to uh, kind of jump into a couple social media questions mm -hmm. here. We had somebody ask about uh, Proud versus Critical Mode, but you already answered yeah, nice. that, so we'll go <laughs> ahead and move on. We got one from at uh, Jem Lamau who asked, nice. uh, Hey, Miss, how's Hookship been treating you in practice? Um, I've done about... Real, real quick, if you yeah, want to just explain what oh, Hookship, hookship is. Uh, yeah. Basically, after you get through the first mid-game world called Agrabah, uh, you have to do at least two out of the three mid-game worlds to follow that, and that spawns Neverland, which is a required story world in the actual game. But if you do not steal all the keyholes, which is basically just completing all the worlds, like all three of the worlds after that, there's a chance you actually just fly by the spawn for Neverland and you just go to a world you don't want to do. It's completely random. It's like, it's it's like a one worst. in three, one in four chance you just kind of get... Hecked, so. Yeah, so how's it been going in practice, getting uh, that it's random? It's pretty good. I missed it all three times I've, you know, tried to do it, so. Feeling good for the run. <laughs> <laughs> that ought to be good. All right, cool. At uh, TN Dom asks, can you actually understand KH plot lines? Mm-hmm. All right, next question. Yeah, next question. <laughs> so we had probably 900 questions about KH3, so I'm just oh, going to yes. kind of lump them into my own one, but thank mm -hmm. you all for uh, tweeting in those questions. So with KH3 coming out next year, mm -hmm. we hope. <laughs> uh, 2021. How, like, it's, I mean, it's this kind of big thing we've been waiting for for like 10 years mm -hmm. now, right? Uh, all of us that are Kingdom Hearts fans. So are you excited? Are you, do you think you're more excited for your first casual playthrough or more excited to kind of start jumping into routing and stuff yeah. after playing it? I really want to play 3 like to its full completion before right. I actually get to start. I'm, more, I'm actually more anticipating um, playing the game casually the first time around and then hoping that it's actually a good speed game because not necessarily a good game yeah. is a good speed game. So don't want to like jump the boat or jump the gun on that right away. So. I'm right. definitely looking forward to my casual playthrough, and hopefully, maybe after that, maybe I will enjoy my runs afterwards, right. but I will definitely give it a shot. So what you're saying is blind race on, Pretty on much. the first day. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, cool. Uh, well, Miss, I'm really excited for the run. I, I am too, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to be on the couch for it too, so that should be fun. I'm excited for some of the incentives you got. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, you want to quickly like just give us a little teaser of what the Oath Keeper glitch is? Because that one's a little lagging, guys. Yeah, gotta, it is. Get that we need in. to push for that. Uh, basically, you pretty much uh, enter a cutscene at a very specific juncture in the middle of a dodge roll, and it screws up Sora's position and going into the cutscene, and the game just basically freaks out with his sort of anatomy, and he's doing like a bunch of attacks that you, of abilities you don't even have on for whatever reason. Just a bunch of actors going all over the place, and the cutscene is completely broken. Is a you don't even have to understand the game to get a great. Level. Oh, yeah. out of it. It, it's so it's fantastic. Then on top of that, we got the level one Sephiroth fight, oh boy, of yeah. course. So, I mean, th that doesn't even really need an introduction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody's pretty much pretty the hardest that. fight at the lowest level with the biggest handicaps possible. Yeah. So, so excited for all those, but we got to get those donations in, folks, to mm -hmm. make those happen. Remember, Kingdom Hearts is only two runs away. It's right after Goof Troop. So, please be sure to bring those uh, donations in and throw them over towards those incentives. And let me uh, tell you, that's a pretty good way to segue into some things that you could potentially win if you donate. So we got Sent over off on the side here, ready to tell us about some of the prizes. Sent. Bionic arm! <laughs> hey, Hobbs. Didn't you take that off? Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I had to come back with it on one more time, Hobbs, because 
I'm Sent, and I'm here to show you guys some of the awesome prizes we have, but I'm also here to give you more of the amazing steps of power to the power glove. So if you took it off, and then you put it back on, yeah. does that mean it's bionic rearmed? That was, that was terrible, Hobbs. That, that, was, that was terrible. Yeah! I, don't, I, I, <laughs> I still love you, Hobbs. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, what we got, Sent? What we got? First off, we got step two. Ow. That hurt my hand. Gotcha. Yeah, enough of that. Naturally. En enough of that. So now is kind of the uh, last chance to pick up some of the uh, Mega Man prizes from the block earlier. This is not how a building works. <laughs> this is also not how a building works. <laughs> this is how a building works. There you go. <laughs> we have uh, this beautiful uh, In the Year 2000 X print from Studio Pen Pen. Um, it's open from now until Goof Troop. Guys, Goof Troop's only like a 10 minute run. It's a super short run. So if you want uh, to donate for any of these prizes, you better get those donations in ASAP. It comes to us from Studio Pen Pen. $5 minimum donation. Super cool. Again, uh, this is a watercolor, actually, Hobbs. Wow. Like, Wait, yeah. what? Really? Yeah. No, really. Oh, that's awesome. It's crazy. The style's amazing. I love it. Looks super cool. It, it certainly does. We also have a, a couple of other prizes. Uh, we have a Mega Man uh, Buster replica from our good friend Iggy Zig. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen one of those, but they have like a little you know hole you stick your hand in, and you can you can shoot normal shots and charge shots. It makes the sound effects. It's, That's cool. It's super fun. I, I love it. Something something I wish I kind of had to play around with right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, but that's a $10 minimum donation. Um, we also are offering, until the end of Goof Troop, a Super NT uh, SNES system. And basically, um, you know, what that is is, you know, Hobbs, have you ever tried to play, like, you know, Super Nintendo games in, like, 1080p, you know, upscaled resolution and all that? I wish. I, ex exactly, right? Like, you can do it. You need the, the whole host of equipment that goes way over my head that's over there. I mean, or you could just you could just put your Super Nintendo games into a Super NT, uh, super cool console. Sold out pretty much everywhere. I think it retails for like 250 or so. Oh, but I like there's a super long pre-order list. We happen to have one. Twenty-five dollar minimum donation. Great way to play uh, all your favorite classic uh, SNES cartridges in high definition. Cool. Super cool with that. And uh, you know, last but not least, guys, it's on the table. I got to show it off. I always got to show these off from our good friend J Store. We have this absolutely beautiful Mega Man statue. It's of, uh, you know, Rock turning into Mega Man. Um, there's all kinds of little pixels falling off of him. Again, the detail is just absolutely immaculate. Um, I was talking to him about this a few days ago. I think he said this one took about 150 plus hours to complete. Um, it's, it's absolutely insane, guys. One of a kind. $40 minimum donation to get in to win this. And uh, Goof Troop's your last chance. So, I mean, in the next 15 minutes. And, I mean, guys, keep in mind. All of these prizes, if you put in donations for them, you're getting in for the grand prize. $150 cumulative throughout the event. You get a PS4 Pro, you get an Xbox One X, you get a Nintendo Switch, uh, you get a great gaming PC. Um, and you know you could put those donations towards those great incentives we were talking about yeah. earlier because uh, we, we do have a couple of Kingdom Hearts incentives that haven't been met, right? We yeah. still need uh, the Oathkeeper glitch cutscene and the level one Sephiroth fight. And I mean, hey, once those are met, we, uh, we have plenty of fun Disney songs to sing. Personally, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, Sumi Chu's rendition of My Reflection. Yeah, it should be uh, good. That's, that's going to be a good one. Um, I have the power now. Oh, man, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. Uh, nobody can understand the Kingdom Hearts storyline, but everyone can understand all the good that Doctors Without Borders does. We've already raised almost $995,000 for them. Can we, can we get some applause for that, guys? Come yeah, come on. Come on. We're come on. Almost at a million. <laughs> but uh, almost at a million, Hobbs? I think we could fix that, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, we, what, we should be able to get to a million before the next run even starts, I think. I, I, I would hope so. Let's, yeah, yeah. let's make that happen, guys. You want to win some of these awesome prizes. You want to see some of these great incentives. You want Uyama to storm the stage and scream goal. All of those <laughs> things are going to be amazing. Uh, but for now, we're going to throw it right back up to the front to our good friend, uh, uh, wait, I mean, oh, okay, sorry, read, read the layout wrong. And uh, as we get ready for Goof Troop with uh, BB Forky and Swordsman Kirby. We have a $50 donation from Vivi. A million dollars for Kingdom Hearts, please. Then I can die happy. All right, with that, it's Goof Troop with BB Forky and Swordsman Kirby.